Fight over LGBT rights is reaching a boiling point across the country. Protests continue after North Carolina approved HB2, referred to as the bathroom law. It requires transgender people to use public bathrooms that match the gender on their birth certificate. The LGBT community calls it blatant discrimination. Now the state and federal government are suing each other over the measure. And last week, the fight reached new heights when the White House issued guidelines directing public schools to allow students to use the bathroom matching their gender identity. A new poll shows a majority of parents oppose the directive, many believing it puts their child at risk. But now, one prominent Republican is going against the party and conservatives to support a member of her family. Ileana Ross Leighton was the first Hispanic woman elected to Congress when she won a seat in 1989. She's the first lawmaker with a transgender child, and she's appearing in new TV ads in both English and Spanish with her husband and their son. Toda persona transgénero merece protecciones contra la discriminación. Family is about acceptance and love. All of our children should have the opportunity to work hard, earn a living, and take responsibility for their lives on the same terms as everyone else. And joining me now from Capitol Hill is Republican Congresswoman Ileana Ross Leighton of Florida, you, along with her son Rodrigo Hang Leighton. And thank you both for being with me. Good morning to thank both you. of you. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Congressman, I want to start with you. When Rodrigo told you he was transgender, you didn't hesitate for a minute. You immediately showed your love toward him. What is it about your son that made that decision so easy for you? Well, I don't want to sugarcoat it. I think you, you put a, a, a nice Mary Poppins tone to it. Uh, actually, we were quite shocked, but of course, uh, this message that we taped with, uh, with SAVE uh, is about love and acceptance, and Dexter and I uh, understood that uh, family is everything. And, uh, and so we did not hesitate to uh, accept Rigo. Uh, we loved him uh, when he was born. He was born Amanda Michelle. Now he's Rodrigo. But it's the same child with the same hopes and aspirations and dreams as any other child and and I hope that that message that we did with save transcends all of that divisive rhetoric that we heard in the beginning of your spot with uh, the protests and angry words uh, I want Rigo to have a safe environment I want him to fulfill his dreams and I think that's what every parent wants for their child Rodrigo, how difficult was that moment or those moments when you talked about this with your folks well, I was very scared when I was first telling my parents that I was transgender. I've been very fortunate that my family is very loving and were always clear with me that that love was unconditional. And yet our society is so hostile towards transgender people that I nevertheless was still terrified to tell them. I had even packed a bag and was ready to uh, live outside the home in case I wasn't welcome back. I've been very fortunate that my parents were unequivocal. They said, we might have questions, we might not understand yet. It, but that doesn't mean you're not our child. Family is family no matter what. Unfortunately, that's uncommon. Almost 60% of transgender people are kicked out of their homes and rejected by their families, which is heartbreaking. So that's why we filmed this message with SAVE, so that more people like myself can be met with acceptance, met with love, and that no one is kicked out of their home. We might still kick him out, but that's for other reasons. He's still not, he's still not cleaning up his room. He might be 30, but he's still small. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's a problem all parents have for all different reasons. Congressman, talk to me about when you hear your son say that he was so concerned that he actually packed a bag. Tell me how as a mother that feels when you hear that. Well, I think that that's an important uh, message for all parents because maybe they're dealing with the, their child who's scared to come out as gay or lesbian or transgender. And just think of how fearful uh, that world is for Rodrigo and other people like him. Uh, and when you hear all of this, all of these bills that are being filed and you think, wow, I'm going to be rejected at home. I'm going to be rejected. I'm going to lose my job. I'm not going to be safe at school. And that's what our save message is all about. Yeah. It's love, acceptance and family and it's tough it's tough for these uh, uh for these individuals uh, whatever they are to come out to their parents uh even in uh, non-judgmental uh environments so it's a tough world and anyone who thinks oh yeah you know these guys are just uh, trying to show off and that's not real they're just playing around hey this is real yeah. and as rigo said those statistics jose th those are alarming any parent should be worried about that Rodrigo, i want to take you to what your uh, mother was just saying you know some opponents 
proponents of LGBT rights use loaded words to describe uh, trans people. They say, you know, they use child molesters and predators. First of all, how do you describe the community and how does it make you feel when, when that's the discussion that a lot of people are having? Well, the transgender community, we're really just people like anybody else. We're part of this community. We're people's neighbors, co-workers, family members. Every single transgender person is a part of someone's family. So that kind of divisive rhetoric is alarming, and it only serves to push us even further into the shadows. Uh, bills like that make people like me even less safe, and it hurts our families as well. No parent wants to worry about their child's safety. No one wants to worry about being harassed or abused or worry that their brother or sister is going to be harassed and abused. And those are really the consequences of that kind of rhetoric. And that's why we're here to say, you know, transgender people are just people. There's nothing to be scared of. And this message with SAVE is about just remembering, hey, family is family. And both of you, as members of the Latino community, it's also important that, you, that you're doing this in Spanish as well. That's right, because uh, yeah, there's this uh, common belief that, like all stereotypes, is wrong, that the uh, Hispanic community is less accepting uh, of, uh, of the LGBT community uh, and, and that they are going to be more hostile and they're going to be more violent. You know, the Hispanic community is like all communities. Mm -hmm. There are some good folks and some bad folks. It's got nothing to do with their ethnicity. But we want to, to build up a culture of, of acceptance and love and and, uh, and tolerance among all communities, and that's why this message in Espanol era muy importante. I think it was muy importante, and I'm glad that you all did this in both languages. Uh, Congressman, I don't want to let you go, because last time uh, we spoke, you and I, in our Miami studios, I asked you if you would be supporting Trump if he became the Republican nominee, and you told me, under no circumstances, is he going to be the nominee? Um, <laughs> let's go forward till today. Uh, are you going to be supporting Donald Trump as as a Republican nominee. No, I'm not. And who would have ever thought when I did that interview that talking about having a transgender son would be more comfortable than saying I'm not going to support my Republican Party nominee uh, but because uh, uh, I respect everybody's right to vote for whoever they want to vote for, and he is going to be the nominee. Uh, I'm not going to support him nor Hillary Clinton. Uh, I expected Jeb Bush to be our nominee. I expected Marco Ruby to be our nominee. That did not happen. I was with uh, both of those at different times. But maybe I'll write in Marco Rubio's name because he did so well in my congressional district and uh, he really swept it. So uh, um, you I will I want not be voting vote for, for Donald Trump. Trump I will at not the be polls. voting. No. And now I want to talk more about being having a transsexual son. More comfortable. <laughs> Just well, listen, I, I appreciate both of you being with me. Thank you guys you. Are, are really uh, what you're, the message that you're giving us is an important one. I am so happy that you're doing it in English and in Spanish. And thank you for being with me today. Así es. Thanks we for having you. us. Thank you, Jose. Gracias. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.